morning, guys. Well, let me see. No, it's afternoon now. <laughs> I am running like crazy. And I'm going to try to do a video just real quick. I don't really have a uh, an idea. Like, I've had a few things hit me in the past couple of days, but it's like when I would go... You know, when I would think about actually, you know, I'd have a chance to do a video, it would, I couldn't think of it. So I figure, you know, it's just not time for that video yet. Um, this morning, the thought that I had, and I was, um, I was thinking about some scripture. It's like, you know, you can connect everything to the Bible and everything's in there. Like, it's just unreal. It's such a such an amazing gift and treasure like I absolutely love the Bible and it is such a strength to me I'm so thankful for God's word but I thought about some scripture that I could look up and I got to reading you know and I found a whole lot of great scripture and I got to posting it on my Nikki's Beautiful Journey page on Facebook and I was doing some things with my business I had to uh, take care of some you know, what paperwork of my sales and where I've done my inventory and all that with the bookstore and some things going on with my books that I've wrote. I'm making, uh, had to make a delivery, selling some books and it's just, God's just blessing and he's just, he's overwhelming me and amazing me. I'm like, you know, I'm not unworthy. I am unworthy of everything that he's given me and it's just unreal and I'm so thankful. But the idea that I had this morning was honesty and I was thinking about you know how we need to be honest with God and I'm sure that I've mentioned that before of how you know be honest with him he knows you better than you know yourself and he knows your heart he knows what's going on anyway and I believe that he wants us to be open and honest with him you know the Bible talks about make your request known unto the Lord you know, and it's just, I don't know, I had that on my mind, and I thought, you know, be honest with him, you know, tell him, just like, it was this morning, I was writing in my prayer journal, and I mentioned a few things that I don't mention very often at all, and I guess that's where I got the idea, but I meant, I mentioned for God to help and bless my business, and my finances, and my relationships, and just every aspect of my life, and I prayed for, you know, like, my viewers, and my readers, and, you know, all that, and it's like, that is stuff that we need to pray for, you know, don't think that you shouldn't pray about money, you know, that it would be bad, and it's not at all that you should pray, God, please give me money, and I want a lot of money, and blah, 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 that's not even it, it's for God to guide you and help you in your finances, especially, you know, if you're struggling or something, you know, let that, God knows all about it anyway, talk to him about it, you know, say, God, you know, what can I do uh, to be you know, more successful or, you know, to be, you know, make better choices or whatever, you know, I pray a lot for God to guide me in all of my decisions because I certainly in the past have made a lot of bad decisions financially, you know, and like, um, accumulated debts that have, you know, hindered me and things that I didn't need to do and later found out, well, hey, that was a bad, you know, decision. That wasn't an investment, you know, and you think about stuff like that and God can guide you in that. And when you put God first, he will help you. You know, when you put God first and you allow God to lead you, he will help you with that. But I believe it's important to be honest to be, you know, if you're scared, like if you think, well, God, I don't know how we're going to make it, you know, or whatever it is, talk to him about it. Say, you know, God, please help me. And, you know, like I pray a lot for clarity and wisdom and knowledge 
and God will show you and God will help you and God will provide like I had a something happen to where <clears throat> this is something I can tell you of my own experience of something that God's done for me and I've mentioned stuff like this several times but I left the house and took I was taking money to the bank to pay my bills that were coming up and my vehicle was about out of gas and I didn't have extra money for gas I had to put the money that I had in the bank to pay bills that were coming up I didn't have gas money and you may say well you just need to put that money you know toward gas you have to have gas and I said no I'm gonna make the money today for gas and almost immediately first thing God provided far more than I needed for gas you know and that's just trusting him and knowing that he's gonna take care of you and he's gonna make a way because he always does he works miracles every single day and it comes down to whether or not we pay attention whether or not we see them and if you've got your mind on the Lord you see them and there's a song excuse me I think it's casting crowns that does it and he says if you've got the eye if you got your eyes on the storm you wonder where I've been but if you got your eyes on the cross you you know I have and always will and it, it's a little, little different than that. I'm sure I'm not exactly right on those because that doesn't sound exactly right. But it's close to that. And it's just, I absolutely love that part. Because perception is everything. And the way you think really has a lot to do with it. But I am fixing to be here at the shop. I've got to run in and take care of some things. So I've got to hop off. This has had to be a really quick, short video. But I love you guys. I'll be praying for you. Please be praying for me. If you're seeing this on YouTube, feel free to subscribe, share, post, whatever you want to do. And I'll see you guys later. Have a great week.